All right, so it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a quick. Well, I guess nothing ever I ever do is quick, but just want to show a couple things I worked on, and then uh, I went to Michael's today. So for Dee Dee's challenge this week, uh, I don't know if you call it a challenge, but year-long project of Alphabetica, um, the words were architecture, vegetables, and the number nine. I think the nine was a bonus. <clears throat> so I've done architecture. It's a it's messy. It's for sure messy. It's old club scrap um, stuff from like 2002 or something. I don't know. And then, of course, I'd, uh, you know, add the Colosseum and the um, Leaning Tower of Pisa and the Eiffel Tower. And there's a Parliament building in Ottawa, a little stamp. So I just had fun with that. Uh, lots of layers of goodness. Hey, Lisa. Lots of layers. Really had fun with it. I did it on the back of a... Uh, one of the file folders that I printed on the jelly plate. So it's fun. I've got that in my A. There's nothing in it right now. And then, as you guys know, after watching Darcy and Dee Dee stream, what day was that? Tuesday? Yeah, that's the day I went to the doctor. So I watched it all night. And uh, so I made one. This is Prima. Um, en français, paper line. So I'll show you the cover first. I don't know if you can. I did uh, use some die cut flowers from the Tim Holtz and then that's a an older Prima little thing we do. I don't know what they called them. But and I broke open a Tim Holtz plate, whatever it's called, and this fleur de -lis is from Hobby Lobby that I ported. And, you know, beater I am not, but I did have some fun um, with some charms on the outside. Is it thicker than it is wide? Hmm. Pretty close. Pretty close. And I didn't really decorate anything 3D on the inside. Um, yet I did go a little maybe too crazy with the fibers on the top but they do fold out like uh, so for example this is the the texture on the front of the file folder and like Dee Dee bound it it folds out so I did do 12 tags I die cut that Eiffel Tower with uh, my favorite things die, MFT die, and uh, each one's slightly different, the same but slightly. Use foam stamps and tape and all that good stuff. The Eiffel Tower tape that I bought, <clears throat> washi tape is from Cute Tapes, and Joyce, uh, Photo Joy. A while ago, gave me those stencils. So there's four in there. Three, excuse me. There's three that pull out. And they're all pretty much similar. Every There's a different image on every tag. Uh, but, but they're all similar. On the cover of all of them, I did do some light molding paste. If you can see it there. So I actually really happy how it turned out. I did. It took me days. It took me a long time to do um, all of the tags and everything. So I did do a couple of extra, so you can check out. This is from the Dollarama, the stencil with light molding paste on it. So this is one of the books without any tags in it. Sprays, stamping, and again, all the paper is the Prima um, en français. And I did have the stamps that go with the en français line. So you see the flower in the background. So I had fun. I'm sending a couple of them out because I made, I don't know what I was thinking. I made six books. I thought about my, I wanted my, this book to have four because that's how much Dee, how many Dee, Dee and Darcy made. 
Um, but then I only made tags enough for 12, and it was the strangest thing. Strangest thing. But, uh, but yeah, I really had a, really had a fun time making it. And, you know, it's been a, a really long time. Um, and if Laurel watches the recording, thanks, Laurel, for the, I love, this is uh, sepia accents on the flower. Love that. I put something. So I, I really had a good time making it. And uh, I did it more like, like an assembly line, but so fun. And I even put this retro seven gypsies elastic thing on it to close it. And I don't know. I might add some more to the cover. I think it might be missing one little rose or something. But, uh, but yeah, I had a, a good time using some charms and goodness. So anyways, I was working on, on those. I've already got three books packaged up to give away or the, the, just the, just like one of one of these where I put a button on it and made its own little book. One of them is a little book. Um, I'm almost done this. I, I did a file folder for texture. I've been having a lot of fun with this bad boy. Two different types of mediums, texture pastes. Really having fun with that. And I started I started the vegetable one, and this came out of a, uh, it's not done, I've blended it in and stuff, but this came out of a magazine, so did this, but I thought it was absolutely hilarious, this broccoli with some women's legs on it. <laughs> and for Dee Dee's challenge, Dee Dee, uh, for Alphabetica, the challenge was to take um, three topics, like three of the, uh, you know, weekly themes I guess and and mix them to put it into one so mine was birds blue and architecture so I've, I've got the uh, Taj Mahal there and I put a bird he's it, it's hard to see but it's right on top of the top looks like he's standing right at the tip of it and uh, so I, I drew this little lotus um, yeah, the gold is kind of, so I just have to do a little bit of shading with colored pencils on it. This is all painted, but with acrylics, but I'm going to add a little bit, um, one each other the last three weeks and put it together. Yeah. I use a Julie Fay Fan Balls or Lotus stamp or stencil. I really like the gold. So. Like I said, I might just, I think it's done. It's close to being done. I even used some paper from the jelly plate. The one that we really liked. So I'm enjoying that. I think it'll look so much better once I use some colored pencils on that bad boy. So like I said, I went to Michael's. Originally, I was going to go to Staples, which just conveniently, conveniently, hi Valerie, is right beside the Michael's. <laughs> so I did buy a, I did buy a, uh, the cheapest printer they had for 50 bucks, some HP one, um, mostly because I do want uh, what Dee Dee and Jean have, the Epson Artisan, whatever, but they're, they're not cheap. So I'm going to have to save for that. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, I went to Michael's and they had, I know you guys have already said that they, you know, I already saw that they had some um, Tim Holt stuff on clearance. So I did buy the configurations printer tray. It was $7.99. I had to buy it. $7.99. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because I haven't I haven't used the other configurations one I bought. <laughs> but, but I really like it. So maybe that'll be a fancy project to use all my fancy charms and stuff that I've been um <clears throat> treasuring. So yeah, for seven ninety nine, I couldn't. Uh, hi, Norm. Sorry, I missed your call there. I was just started the, the stream. Um, this is also on clearance. These faucet knobs, you've seen them before. They were also I forget five bucks or something. The prices in Canada are going to be, um, higher than what they are in the U.S. Usually, a lot higher than what they. 
are in the U.S. Now, you know, like Diddy said, calendars, they were like, these these calendars ended up being like 65 cents. So I got collectibles. There's different things on there. There's books. For collage, there's a watch there. Like, how can you, you can't beat that for 75 cents. There's a boat. I did buy the horses. And lighthouses. I don't know where they are. None of them are the Bonavista lighthouse. <laughs> so, where my dad lives. So, they were like, like I said, 65, 75 cents each. Now, I haven't been to Michael's in a long time. Welcome, it's Media Diva. Um, so I don't know how what this is, if this stuff is new or not new. This line, I had to buy it. What's it dollar fifty? It's a wood ruler, but it says "Rule Your World," and it's got like postmarks on it. Dollar fifty, had to buy it. Because I, I obviously don't have enough rulers, you know. May, maybe I'll use it in the collage or something, but dollar fifty. Anyway, then they had this this line. This one says, "Being yourself is the key," and it's a canvas. I don't know, pencil holder, I guess, canvas bag. It says. Uh, but I figure use some of my color washes, and you can like stencil on it, and then. You know, paint it, paint it up. That's what I'm gonna do. Paint it up and and that that was three dollars. But there was a coupon for twenty five percent off your entire regular price purchase. So all of the stuff from the three dollar bins uh, was on sale. So this is a chipboard journal. Um, of course, I'm gonna make my own journals out of it. Dollar fifty. I just it's heavy chipboard and uh, I like the size. They had these tins. I'm not sure if you already seen them. I think they're six by six. Yeah, six and a half by six and a half wall plaque. It's called. But I'm gonna take it and somehow get holes drilled in it. I think this would be an awesome journal cover. And it was a dollar fifty. Minus the 25%. I really liked it. It's pretty happy. So, I don't think my crop of the house can cut through that. But, uh, I don't know, maybe get someone to drill it. This These stickles were on clearance for six bucks. Can't go along with distress stickles. Clear rock candy, vintage photo, and black soot. So that it's not like they're obscure colors. So excited about that. It was cheap. Um, this is also, well, I, any of this stuff is new to me. But this is $6.99 Canadian, which means that it's going to be cheaper in the U.S. This is Recollections Chipboard Kit. So, I mean, they've got, what do we call them? Binder rings. Um, but it comes with eight, nine, ten. Ten of these big ones. And, and four of them are are tabbed. And then eight small ones. I mean, you put your own paper in it. I, I'm excited about this. I don't have a lot of chipboard, so... Or you can mount the tile, exactly. Huh? But, uh... Yeah, I thought it was a good six ninety nine plus twenty five percent off. I thought it was a good, a good deal. This heavy, heavyweight chipboard to make journals on. Um, and they had different sizes too. Uh, they also have these new, new to me. These mini books that again, this was in the three dollar bin. It's got four pages, but they're canvas. I don't can tell. It's canvas covered rather than just chipboard. So I bought one of them. And they come in weird things too. Uh, weird sizes, not just the 
regular one. But, you know, it's four. Either you can make a journal that has four, or you can make two journals, right, front to back. Or if you just want to cover, like when I when I look at something like this for $1.50, I wouldn't use the whole book as a journal. I would use this as a cover, right, and then take regular chipboard to use as the back or whatnot. Um, so they also had this line. I don't know what, a place in time, I think the line is called. I was just almost blown away. So these charms, these are, again, a $3 bin. I don't know if it's $3 in the U.S. as well. But they're metal clocks. And it, again, they had a coupon for 25% off. So all that was, like, look at this bad boy. Oh, and it's heavy. It's metal. It is, it is a big, like, big. Love them. And look at this. So three dollars with twenty five percent off. Uh, I like them anyways. And they had some. I re, I didn't buy many stamps, but I really like the the heart with the crown on it. Um, I did buy some cheap ribbon roses. I thought I needed to put one on here. Probably take off the ribbon, but anyway. And then look at this bad boy. I about fell over. They only had two. I would have bought ten. Yeah, I can do that. Mix me a diva. Do you want to? Would you like to share your name with us? I'm not. Uh, I would like to know, but. Oh. I'm gonna treasure that bad boy. They only had two, so somebody already went and. Uh, Cleared it out, I'm sure. And then they had a phone. And these are heavy people. These are this is all from Michaels. All from Michaels. Like these, these it's solid. Solid. Nice to meet you, Ellie. So flat back. Uh, this is another one in the in the thing. In the same line. Ooh. This was this. I think this is a D, but I'm gonna use it as a P. It was twenty-five cents. <laughs> so I think it looks like a P. You wouldn't know it wasn't a P. <laughs> Let me see. Um. They have this, again, new to me, this line called Articake by Amy Labby. So their charms, so this one was on clearance for $5. And these are super duper heavy. So that's a pair uh, with wings. And this is a cool fancy rose. So I'm, I'm excited about that and hang that off of something. It's nice. They had uh, such cool things. Such cool things. Um, I bought seven gypsies. Now, none of these stamps are on sale. You should see the crown of the Articake. They had some nice stuff, but they were expensive. It wasn't on, I only bought a couple that were on clearance. Anyway, Seven Gypsies wasn't on sale, uh, other than 25% off. But I, there's some one, there's some that I really like. But I did buy the blessed and the vintage one. They're made by Hampton Arts. I think it was $6.99 Canadian. Paint was on sale, but folk art. But I only bought white. Um, oh, here's the other typewriter I bought. I can see I bought two, and one was gold, and one was, I'm telling you, I would have bought ten if they had them there. I'm not kidding. Hey, Murda. Um, so, I love these so much. I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I might have to take a cab to a different Michaels. <laughs> uh, I lied. I also bought some, uh, uh, what? Outdoor paint? That's bad news. I bought some folk art paint in uh, 
cerulean blue, but it says outdoor. Um, recollections embellishments are 40% off. I didn't buy too much of it, just this one because it had an Eiffel Tower and a nice cameo. So I think it was regularly $5.99. It was 40% off. Goodies. It, that's true, Joyceage. I, I should do a printer's my my printer's tray that I just bought and use one of them and then treasure another one. <laughs> and then lastly, I got uh, the Recollections washi tape, which was also forty percent off. So this one is keys and script. Yeah, outdoor just means it's more durable. Hopefully it's not sticky, you know, so that if I put it in my journal, it doesn't stick together. But I did like this one. I don't have a lot of color. But this is multicolored. So it says fly high, and it's got some other stuff on it. Butterflies and a crown and bees. Um, so it says 10 yards, 9 meters. That's a lot of tape. I think they were, so in Canada, I think they're like $8.99, but that's 40% off. So, um, and then I bought this key one. They had a lot of real nice ones, I must admit. And then this is birds. Uh, which one's I show? This one has, look at Carrie. I'm just being quiet. Welcome, Lucy Jo. It's mappage, but it's that map. I don't know what you call it when those two maps are together like that. And so you get two of 10 yards. It's not bad. 40% off this week, Carrie. And lastly, I bought, I mean, everybody needs a little zebra print. Black and white zebra. But they also had, like, pink zebra, blue zebra, all that. Yeah, so that was all the goodies. That was 100 bucks, Canadian. Well, I mean, including, it was including tax and everything. I did also find at Staples the the file folders that <clears throat> I think it was D said Tara told us about with the multiple pockets inside and I bought a printer like I said cheap printer I bought a ream of 110 pound cardstock and extra print cartridges for that bad boy I gotta print some stuff for work to send out but flat sphere map Yeah, so isn't that, I'm excited. I am excited. I think this is too heavy for my crocodile to go through. This this isn't, like, this is, like, it's heavy. It is heavy. I got enough books to make enough journals to last me two years. <laughs> That's for sure. That's for sure. But I'm thinking, maybe, maybe this little rose that's on here would fit nicely. Somewhere. I have to glue it on. Maybe not. Maybe not. It's going to be really heavy. If I put that there, I'd have to put something else there. Maybe. Or that's why I bought these 40 mini roses. But I'm so proud of myself. I actually made, went to update my health card something like truly guys I would in the past would procrastinate for a long time
the other ladies were telling me about an Epson artisan. Now online, staples.ca, it was like $200. Um, oops. But Dee Dee and Jean recommended that, so I trust those two ladies. If they, if they recommend it, it's got to be good. Of course, I wouldn't leave it white. I don't know, maybe I should just leave it as it is. Hi, Sandy. Maybe I should just leave it as it is. I made this book, Laurel, uh, this week. It's a book, it's a, t a file folder book with tags that uh, Dee Dee and Darcy did on when they were together this week. So the books come out, the tag books. File folder type books. Epson Artisan. Yep. Let me know. MFT stamps. <laughs> Lucy J. Lucy J won't even make the whole stream. She's got in Michael's. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. You know, you know what I did for this one? Darcy and Dee Dee used um, file folders that were mini. Somehow Darcy found, and I looked at staples and they didn't have any. Uh, and there's three of them in there. Um, Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Laurel. See, I, I it texted you a picture, but I don't know if you got it. So, um, many moons ago, Laurel gave me these wine glass charms because I am not a beater, my friend. So they look like this. There's a package of like six. See how it's got the loop? And so that's what I just threaded a whole bunch of beads. Like this is one of the uh oh frozen. Okay. I, I just put on some fun stuff. That's a Recollections crown. Right on that. So I didn't have to make any weird thing. It was already there. Yeah, it was it was already... You know what I mean? Because like, I don't know how to make chains and this and that. And whatever. So um, I did put a Tim Holtz one on the end of this. Yeah, so it was that, and then I just tied it on. So it was that, such a great way. Thanks, Noah. It was such a great way to. There's also a dangly, dangly here. Such an easy way to um, add some stuff on there without knowing how to bead. So the book, uh, you know what I used for the book? I, the other day, remember I said I had some pizza? Um, we had dominoes and we actually make those dominoes boxes at work. Not my plant, different one. So it was just a lid of a dominoes box. But uh, so I ripped the file folders in half. This one was taped down. So let me find my. I think I'd have like 50. Ugh. We're keeping the file folder companies in business, that's for sure. Do, do, do. So all I did was take the, the file folder and rip it right in half. And Didi showed us how to do this uh, a long time ago. And then I just uh, took a tag, which I'm kind of disappointed in because I, I went to these standard size tags. I don't know what number they are, whatever size this is. Uh, I don't know, A whatever. They're like four and a half inches or four and three quarters by two and a quarter. They used to sell them at Staples. Maybe they still do online. And now they only sell like the small, real small ones. So depending on what 
how I measured it um, for the pocket, I just thought, okay, if I'm going to have my tag like that, so depending on what size your tag is, right, then I just took a ruler, marked where I wanted it, and then took out my scoreboard. I actually used the Martha Stewart scoreboard. Look out. And then I just scored it at that line. Um... Now you would score it, but then to make that little lip, just fold it back if you want an inch, if you want half an inch, whatever. Make sure, you know, instead of using a ballpoint pen. But, and then you just fold the book, fold it in half, fold it in half. Right? And then you bend it backwards. Now, I think when Dee Dee does them, she, um, see, Carrie? You make a big one, right? This is how she originally taught us um, where you're taking the entire, rather than just half, you're taking the entire file folder. So I made this one uh, that way. Although I haven't put any tags in there, if you see, it's a much bigger slot for, for tags. Dee does it both ways. Yeah, so this is one that I made uh, a while ago and I never, never finished it. Um, so the way Dee Dee showed us how to attach them, So, and when I had my books, then I just measured the, the chipboard, um, you know, to whatever. It was actually one piece, and the corrugation was going the right way, so that uh, I just scored on the corrugation. So that they fold out, you're just taking ribbon and just looping it around that first one and tying it in the back. The Dee Dee Darcy streamage, I'm telling you, it's like five hours or something crazy, but I watched it all. <laughs> or you could use rubber bands or uh, whatnot. But so that's, yep. Yeah. So like I said, I used the cover of a Domino's pizza, Domino's cheesy bread deliciousness. Um, and, and just cut it out. But the flutes were going this way. The ridges in the court in the corrugation. If, if the flutes were going the other way, if your cord if you had a piece of a corrugate and the flutes were going that way, you wouldn't be able to do the same thing. You'd have to. Um, so this is a full book, right? But you could take three pieces of corrugate and put them together, uh, like I did with like I did with this journal. This is three pieces of chipboard. Um, so instead of ribbons, I was using elastic bands on this one uh, to put it, put the books in the same way. The little books I made. And they can come in and out as well. Um, but did I tell you guys, at the, at the grocery store of all places, I got clear duct tape. Clear. And you may think, what the heck is so exciting about clear duct tape? Whatever pretty papers you're using to cover your journal, maybe you're maybe you're using your own artwork, and maybe I will now that I got a printer. <laughs> um, Dee Dee is Inkwell, I N K W E L L, here on Ustream. I N K W E L L. But clear, clear duct tape. You know how exciting that is? <laughs> I know it's not exciting as exciting as a Justin Bieber duct tape. Not exciting as a Justin Bieber. <laughs> but the clear. <laughs> so 
So I did it in assembly line style. I did all the tags. I did all the file folders. Did all the tags. Did all the. Uh, but Dee, Dee, if you haven't, uh, if you're new to my, um, if you haven't watched Dee, Dee I finally, you know, after all this time, caught up in all of her videos. But she is absolutely one of the most inspiring women I know. I absolutely love her stuff. So you definitely gotta check her out. She streams regularly on Wednesdays and Thursdays at nine in the morning. But she records it so you can watch all the all the good recordings. Yeah, so I don't know. I didn't really decorate any of the the fronts. I mean um, I'm gonna put some rub and buff on there. But so I don't know if I want to add any 3D stuff to these or just call it done or what. So I had fun. I had fun using some stuff that normally I would um, treasure. <clears throat> like, how long have I been treasuring these Tim Holtz plates? My links aren't on, Brenda, if that's what you're trying to post. Yeah, but like I said, I've already packaged uh, them up, but if you just want to make one, all I, all I did was uh, put a button and ribbon and then tie it around one thing. So, you know, if you just want to make a nice gift for, for someone. I had a lot of fun with the Prima papers and I even used some Lindy's on there. See this gold paint, I used my itty bitty. I don't know if everyone remembers, a long time ago Dee Dee told us about this gold paint. And when I was with her, um, which I think the liquid techs now, they got rid of, it seems like they're, they're getting rid of their soft body paints. But, uh, yeah, me too, Ellie. <laughs> um, iridescent bright gold. She, this is absolutely the coolest gold paint. I mean, it's an artist acrylic, so it's not, you know, it's really super shiny and nice. I really actually liked using it. But that's all the excitement I got going on. I got up early. I got up early. Went to get my health card, something I'd normally procrastinate. So that's why I reward myself by going to up. Uh, it's all paint, Laurel. The first, the first layer I did on my folders was, um, yeah, I painted blue, some, some of the blue and some of the pink. So I chose the En Francais line from Prima, uh, and then I just picked four, three colors that match that paper. Uh, so I painted first, and then I added, uh, just like Dee Dee does, I added the some of the pattern paper ripped up and then added more paint um, then some stamping and then stenciling yeah Inca gold is pretty sweet too do what Margot it's gorgeous I you are it's, it's hardly paint my friend It's uh, now I folded it. I folded it first because I wanted. Did that fall off? That see, look, I am not a beater. This fell off my journal already. Dang it! I forgot. Um. So this is the half. You just kind of have to remember, you know, the way that it folds. Why well, this is on the inside. Oh, I want this to be on the inside. You have to remember where it folds up, right? So when I painted it, I didn't bother painting here because it, it folds. But if you want to... Um, you can complete this. That's wonky. 
my boat is not nowhere near on. So all I did, and I did it, I'm telling you, all assembly line. Um, hmm, let's see. Find a piece of paper. No gentle. Just want to choose a piece of scrap of paper to choose colors off of. I'm just gonna go in my scrap in here and find something to use. All right. Say we choose this one. This is, uh, uh, I believe, not K. Sarasara. What's the other one they, she, they um, did that's similar to K. Sarasara? It's been a while. I forget. No, I didn't judge. You're being hypnotized. So I just choose, I'm going to choose uh, turquoise, blue, sea breeze, wisteria, craft paint that goes on, uh, kind of matches this paper. So originally, I just took two colors, um, one for one side and one for the other because when I folded it up so on the back I did you know let's just say, I'll do purple on one side make this quick I didn't even do it all I didn't even paint it all the way I really like these brushes I bought these Sim simply Simmons so they were cheap and they were bristle bright so they're shaggy kind of shaggy So the first layer is so I could look. And you're going to have enough layers that the, well that inside, that print anyways, folds up. It's complicated. This is complicated. Then I flip it over. I'll be done in a minute, Laura. I mean, if you want to paint it all one color, it doesn't have to be two colors. I just like, um, so I always, I always double check so I remember that this is that way. You know what I always say, right? If you try to make it look messy like this on purpose, then it looks good. And you'll be like, yes, that's. Now, if you were getting super duper fancy and using an artist grade paint, yeah, you'd want to, you'd want to gesso. But I do fold it first so that you know where the scores are and you don't want to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like it kind of cracks the paint afterwards. So I always like to know where. You know, what's the front, what's the back, when I fold this over, right, what am I going to see, that type of thing. So I got some extra paint, which, you know, means I need to break out the... And everything I do, I've been using my journal. So when I was making those file folders, the colors I was using, I, I just... Um, You put the extra in.
I need a new craft mat. I have one actually from my video shoot from that long ago. So you normally dry it, but uh, then just take your paper, and this one's nicely two sides, and then just glue it down. Ink it, glue it down. And again, just remember that th where why I fold it, where this uh, where this folds up, right? So if I put a piece of paper down here, well, it's useless, right? So that's why I like to fold it first, so you know placement wise where where you're gonna see it. Same as when you're putting the paper on the back, right? Sometimes you want to. You can put it like this and then fold it over, right? But if you're using a paper, like the paper I was, the paper, hey Darcy, oh I gotta show Darcy my book. The paper I used on my other book, um, you know, it had Eiffel Towers and stuff on it. So I had to make sure that when I was putting it on, the Eiffel Tower wasn't going upside down or whatever. I mean, if you want it to be upside down, that's, that's okay. But, uh, yeah, so that's why I folded it first. So just put down a whole bunch of paper. And then once I put down the paper, like Dee Dee, Dee, Dee blends a little bit different. She likes to use her fingers. But to keep the whimsical feel, the blue is Americana turquoise blue. So when I had the four file folded, well, I actually had six. You know, I painted them all like this first, the two colors, front and back, painted them all. And then I put all the paper on. And then after I put the paper on, then I take the same, same brush, take a little bit of paint, and then edge it like that. Right? And then I put stamps over that. Then add a little bit more. So that's where I would take my, once that's dry, then I'd take my, this is a very quick demo. I'm talking uh, very fast. Hi, Mickey. Good to see you. I'm doing fast so that we can go watch our friend Lola because we miss her. So then you would take your contrasting color, which this one, you know, would be, and then I would paint it over like that. And then that's just quickly, quickly how you you get it to look like that. So I can finish this file for it later. But I want to show Darcy. This is those those flowers I die cut from you know pattern paper when I was spraying. And I just die cut. And I got charmy charms on the, which one already fell off, so I gotta figure out how to fix that. <laughs> I use an old Seven Gypsies uh, binder thing. Come out. Lots, lots of texture. I didn't do anything to the back, so what I was just demoing. You know, once you add layers on it, you add the stamps, you add some, there's Lindy's there. And it's such a nice little book. Now, it took me a long time, uh, be, partially because I did six file folders. I wasn't thinking when I really only wanted to do three. Um, and it's with the tags. Each tag is laid out slightly different. Uh, and all the pictures are different. The pictures are from um, Art Chick Studios. Is that what it was? Art Chicks Studios. I think I went crazy with the fibers. I think I went a little crazy with the fibers. So I am, I am very happy with it. Yeah. You'll have to go watch the recording to see all the goodies I got at Michael's. Woo-wee! 
I inspired Lucy Jane so much she's already left the stream <laughs> and gone. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I appreciate it. Um, so nice to see everyone here, especially I think some of us that are, some of you all that are overseas. Um, for the rest of you, I shall see you at 9. And uh, we'll, uh, I think Laurel's going to stream after she goes make something in the kitchen. Oh, Darcy. I don't know. Yeah, the front of it, on the front, this is uh, light molding paste. And what I was doing, the ones that I made that are already packaged up, I just took these old rub-ons, which you could use um, if you got rub and buff, if you've got the uh, other kind. How can I think of it? Inca Gold. That's why I like making when I when you use the light molding paste, it's like foam when it dries. So I like to put a little bit of a you can put more than one color on it. Maybe add a little bit of blue. So anyways, guys, I'll see you on my regular show. Um, if you click, all you need to do, Ellie, is click on Laurel from NJ. Click on her name, and uh, it'll say go to channel or profile or whatever. So left-click on her name, and then you can, it'll just take you there. See you guys later. I'll see you around nine ish. Hopefully, you can join me. Join us. Yeah, 2 p.m. See you over at Laurel's. Ooh, this look like, looks like I have nail polish on.